Hello all and welcome back to my channel Nomadic Ujwal. So in this video I'm going to explain you about how to apply for a parents visitor visa. So there are two platforms from where you can apply for a visitor visa. The one is GCK which like almost everyone knows about it and the second is a new IRCC portal. The main difference is just like in GCK you have to fill a separate form and then you have to upload it. But in the new IRCC account, all the details you have to fill online in the account and then you have to just upload the documentation. So this only is the main difference. And regarding the processing time and everything is same, there is no difference in it. It is just about filling the form. So this video will be in a two part. The one which you are already seeing right now is the how you can fill a form. And second video which I'll be making separately which will be all about the documentations like what are the documentations you will need as well as uh, how to write an invitation letter for your parents. So let's begin with the video and if you are new to my channel for my support kindly subscribe to my channel and if you feel if any one of your friend needs this video then kindly share it as well. So you just need to write new IRCC portal and this is the link from where you can apply for a visitor visa. So here you can see it's a login details from here but for sure like you, you will not have your account already created. So first if you not have an account so you have to sign up. So the first is invite, uh, invite code. So I'm pretty sure like I've seen so many people they come over here and then they confused and see like what is invite code and where from I can get it. So let's, so let's uh, get first this invite code and then we can proceed ahead. So this is the website from where you can get the invitation code. So I will mention, I'll just copy this link and I will just mention in the description so that you can just click on it and you can directly come to this page. So you have to mention the email address. So I will just write down my email address. You need to just confirm again. So, and you have to click on the get invite uh, get invitation code. So this is the invitation code. You have to just copy and come back here, and you need to paste. And now you can just start with your details. and set the password. So password must be at least eight characters, no more than 15 characters and must include at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one special character and one numeric digit. So accordingly, you have to set the password. So I've set the password and let's see if that is accepted or not. The last name, just my name is Joshi, and first name Ujwal. Select the telephone number. I will just write Canada, and this is just the example. So I will add that number. And okay, it's one more, and sign up. So yes, uh, the account has been generated, and. So a verification code has been sent to your email account. So for sure you will be have received an uh, code on uh, in the email account. So just go again to your email account and just check the code. And whatever code you have got, just type it here. And confirm. So email. Uh, so the email has been verified and please sign in again. So I will just write my email id and my password and sign in okay so i accept and this is the account from where i can apply for a visa so just for your knowledge you can apply for a visit study or work in canada as a temporary resident so from this portal this can be done like uh, you cannot apply for your PR from this portal. It is just the visit study or work permit can be applied from this online portal 
so yeah let's begin so you are going to start an application so apply to visit study and or work so make sure you are eligible before you apply have these items ready follow these steps to complete the application i acknowledge and start application do you want to apply for more than one person at the same time so yes i am giving this example to apply for a parents which is like my mom and my dad so yes and select the type of group that applies for uh, to your situation i will just write family uh, create a name of your group i'll just write joshi family and save and continue so the group has been created and uh, i will add a member here so this is two applications so one would be for my uh, dad and one would be for my mom so it would be separate it is not like from only one app application you need to apply you have to create two applications and accordingly you have to fill the form so one like i will start with this one continue and i'll fill all the details related to my dad and again once this is completed then i'll fill the same thing again for my mom as well so the first question is i want to apply for a visitor visa or super visa and when i applied for uh, my parents visitor visa at that time i was on a work permit but now i am a pr so if you are a pr then there is a different option and if you are on a work permit or you are still on a temporary uh, resident visa then there are different options so you can just go through all the options whatever is it is applicable for you but if you are applying when you are on a study or uh, on a work permit then the option will be this one to visit my spouse common law partner dependent child parent step parent guardian or tutor who is canada uh, who is canada temporarily such as international student or temporary worker so if you are a temporary worker or a international student if you are applying on the basis of the convocation or if you are applying just for them to visit in like when you are on a work permit then this option and if you are already a permanent resident then it will be this option so accordingly you need to select it and if you are applying for a super visa just for an information then there is the other option so you have to select that so yes i have selected this and then let's go on a second question which is tell us more about what you will do in canada and include dates so here you have to just briefly mention because it is just a 475 characters to be used so you have to just write why you are coming to canada like uh, for example like uh, I would like to meet my child who is already in Canada on a study visa or on a work permit and we are going to visit few places and they have also told to include dates so then just include the dates like from for example June 15 to August 1st or August 15 whatever it is so you have to select that so this is just the example so you can see here like i have mentioned we are going to visit our youngest son who is residing in vernon bc we also have plans to celebrate his 35th birthday on june 30th 2024 along with a visit to victoria bc to be a part of canada day celebration and our visit to canada will be from 25th june 2024 to july 30th 2024 so you have to mention the date as well so when you will come uh, when you will enter canada so the the date which you have mentioned here you have it, it should be the same here so 2024 june 25th and when you will leave canada it would be july 2024 30th of july so yeah you can just mention this date again but uh, just make sure it, it it should be the same from like which you have mentioned here and it should be same here as well the next is uci number so my parents are applying for the first time so there won't be any uci number for them but if anyone have already applied and they got a rejection then for sure they will be having a uci number so you can write it over here and then you can just save like if there is no uci number you can just mention like you don't have to mention it anything and just save and continue so you selected visitor visa to visit my spouse common law partner dependent child parent step parent guardian or tutor so documents you needed to complete the application and information you needed to enter so this is the main information which you have to fill in the next steps so let's begin so continue to application are you applying on a behalf of someone else yes because i have applied for my parents so yes yes it would be and who are you in the relation to the person you are helping so i am a family member so my name will be here joshi 
कुछ और टेलीफोन वैसे या टेलीफोन टाइप इट वुड बी सेल्युलर कैनेडा दिस इज जस्ट द टेंपरेरी आई वुड से इट्स नॉट दिस इज नॉट माय नंबर दिस इज जस्ट फॉर एन एग्जांपल बट यू हैव टू मेंशन योर टेलीफोन नंबर हियर सिलेक्ट द कंट्री और टेरिटरी आई मीन कैनेडा ऑलरेडी सो आई वुड जस्ट सिलेक्ट कैनेडा start typing to find your address in the list so it will automatically it will pop up the address so uh, i'll just mention like paulson mall version so yeah you can just see this so for example i'll just mention this address so yeah i'll just mention this address so you have to check the address from here and if you like if you don't get your exact then you can also click on this and you can do it manually as well so you can just again i'll just select this one and i'll just go ahead email address again so it's ujwal personal id at gmail.com confirm your email address again okay so this is done and save and continue so travel document information of the applicant so now here you will start the details so first as i told you like i'll be filling of my dad so i'll just start with surname whatever your father name is i'll for example i'll just mention like vh uh date of birth so this would be as per the passport so just make sure that you select right one gender male save and continue so what document are you traveling with it is for sure it is with passport what kind of passport it is a regular passport select the country code that matches one on your passport so you are from india what is the nationality of on your passport so of course india what what's your passport and travel document number so we have this with one alphabet with six digit of number so you have to mention that this is just an example i'm showing it to you so you have to get it from your travel like uh, from your passport date of issue of the passport i'll just mention something right away like 2023 or 2024 to 31st december 2034 Are you a lawful permanent resident of the United States with a valid green card? No. Have you held a Canadian visitor visa in the past 10 years? No. Like my parents are applying for the first time, so of course it would be no. But if already your parents had a visa before, or like they already have and they are going to renew it, then you have to do it. Yes. Uh, so do you currently hold a valid U.S. non-immigrant visa? No. If if might someone would have, then yeah, you can just apply and you can just write the visa number. but in my case there was no uh, us non immigrant visa are you traveling to canada by air yes and you have to select save and continue again citizenship and places where the applicant has lived so current country or territory where were you born so my father born in india city or town where you were born i will just write it and this should be as per the passport so whatever it is it should be as per the passport and are you a citizen of more than one country or territory no which country or territory are you citizenship of so of course it is from india and i am a citizen of this uh, of this country or territory since birth so you have to just select this so this will automatically pop up the date of birth save and continue do you have a valid national identity document yes so here for indian like indian national there are two uh identity document uh is, is the one is the passport for sure you can just enter your passport the same details here and the second one is aadhar card so you can also mention the aadhar card details as well but some of them might have an issue like what is the date of issue of the aadhar card so it is in a small writing it would be on the left hand side of the aadhar and it would be uh vertically mentioned on the aadhar card so you have to see that but if you don't find this i will just let 
your passport number to be here and you can just enter your passport number and you can proceed ahead uh, select the country or territory that issued this document it was india and save and continue have you used another name in the past no there was no other name uh, were used in the past but for my mother yes the my mother name was been changed so like when i'll be filling the details for my mother then i will select yes over here and if you select yes then what was the name and uh, you have to just write the details like name before or marriage or maiden name or previous name so you can just select whatever the option is and you have to mention that name but in my dad case it was like there was no other name was used in the past so just save and continue countries or territories of residence so select a country or territory it was in india street address i will just write mg road rajkot postal code 360001 is your mailing address the same as your residential address yes if no then you you can just mention no and then you can give the details uh, list your current uh, current country or territory of residence then add all other current uh, countries or territories where you were lived for the past 5 years for more than 6 months so you have to add select the country or territory it was india what is the status of your country or territory you are citizen from like as i told you like since date of birth so it's 1960 march 5th and this is where i currently live because my parents have never lived in any other country they are since their birth they are in india so i'll just save and continue do we already have your fingerprints and photo biometrics and are they still valid as i told you again my parents have applied for the first time so they don't like the iscc don't have the fingerprint so i will select no but if you have already applied before if there is any rejection or if you already had a uh, previous visitor visa or something then you can just select yes and you can just fill other details as well so but in my case it was no like save and continue so who is inviting you so i am the person who is inviting my parents so here will be my details so it would be joshi ujwal relationship to youth family member select a country or territory it's already canada like i'm already uh, inviting them from canada so again you can just start typing it's like some more just it was vernon it address and i'll just select this address telephone type cellular canada this is just for an example this is not my phone number so please don't try to contact on this number so this is not my number so this is just an example email address gmail.com has someone else invited you no just save and continue how much money do you how much money do you have for your stay in canada so this is one of the important part of the process because if you uh, just for example by mistake i have seen so many cases that the agent have accidentally just kept like 5000 dollars or 2000 dollars and this is the reason for the rejection that you don't have a financial support and you cannot like they will say like you will not come back to india so this is very important part so as per my suggestion for sure it should be more than 15000 dollars because you will be uh, uh, like buying the tickets you will you need to have some amounts in your bank account so that uh, they know that you will come back to canada and this will be a sufficient amount for you to spend in canada so now this amount it is not uh, this should be a total amount like i am inviting so i will also uh, upload my financial documentations as well so this amount will be added like for example like i have 15000 plus my parents have somewhere around like 15000 with them as well in their bank account then total i will write here is 30000 
सो दिस विल बी अ टोटल अमाउंट विच आई विल बी एंटरिंग हीयर इज समन एल्स गिविंग यू मनी फॉर योर स्टे इन कैनेडा सो आई विल मैंशन येस बिकॉज आई विल बी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग अ फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट टू दैम सो इट विल बी येस एंड देन आई विल मैंशन हीयर that 15000 is in my account and 15000 is in my son account who will be providing if it is necessary then my son will be also providing a financial support to me so you can just mention this amount here and you can just write that i have already uploaded my financial proof with this application so you can just if you select yes then of course you have to add something and then only you can see the uh, the save and continue option over here and if you I have not write anything then you won't be able to proceed at so yes as i told you you have to mention here like how much amount your parents have in their bank account and how much you are going to uh, help them like how much amount you have in your canada's bank account so you can just write it over here and save and continue but if you feel so that you don't want like your parents have enough and sufficient uh, the sufficient amount in their bank account then just mention no and just proceed ahead but in my case i have did it so i'll just select it yes and save and continue post secondary education history have you ever studied at a post secondary school university college or vocational school you don't need to have completed you don't need to have completed a degree or diploma so if it's like even a post secondary school or something then you have to mention yes and all the details but my parents yes my uh father is a lawyer so of course uh, he have completed a university uh, degree so you have to mention all the details here whatever it is like uh, the name of the school or institution so let's fill that so rashtri university select here for sure he was if i'm not wrong he was somewhere around 1980s but for example i've just mentioned like 1970 Select month April till nineteen seventy three or seventy four, whatever it is. This is just an example, but just make sure you just see the document and uh, just you can just fill the details about it. So it was university bachelor degree. He was doing law in India. It's like. whatever university it is university road like whatever the address of the university is you have to mention that and rajkot and save so you can see the details will be over here if you want to edit it you can just go edit you can edit all the details again you can save it and if you feel you want to delete it you can just delete from here and if you have more than one degree then of course like in my father case it was uh, bcom plus llb so i have mentioned both like the bcom first and then llb like it doesn't matter how you fill it but the details should be correct as per the documentations did you serve in any military civil defense unit or police force no give the details of all the employment and activities for the past 10 years so whatever just make sure it is like just part past 10 years so you don't have to mention from like like 20 30 years you just have to mention what uh whatever uh, date is from like from uh, 2014 i would say uh, may and ongoing or if not ongoing then till what date like for example if uh, someone is retired in 2020 or something then you can just mention that whatever it is health occupation whatever the job title is whatever the employer name is i would just say mp pharma mp pharma something just for example what are the duties i'll just write help for sure like it is not help but whatever the duties it would be just mention the duties select a country or territory it is india address i would just write jp road city or town rajkot and save so whatever details you uh, uh, as per the activity or as per your father have done then you have to mention that and if there is nothing then to like uh, like if if it is about your mother then to you have to select unemployed so you have to select this for your mother if your mother is not working since last 10 years or something then it would be unemployed so just make sure whatever it is you have to write that and accordingly you have to mention it safe 
so if you write unemployed there won't be any job title no not about the company employer something details but yeah from like 10 like from you have to mention about from the past 10 years so you have to mention that date and save and continue okay there is some error so let's see what is it give details of your employment and activities for the past 10 years you're missing the details of the past 10 years okay let's see what is going on okay so yes as you can see like i have mentioned till april 2020 this was the example what i was saying but if you say ongoing save and save and continue then yeah this is for the 10 years so then you can post it so you can just check what the error is and you can just fulfill that during the past five years have you traveled to a country or a territory over than the one where you were citizen or were you like where you live now i would say no in my case because my my parents have never been visited to any country so it would be no but if yes then you have to select yes and you have to mention all the details about it save and continue have you ever stayed in canada beyond the validity of your status attended school in canada without authorization or worked without authorization in canada no because my parents never had a visa so for sure it would be no have you ever been refused a visa or a permit denied entry or order to leave any country or territory no my father and my mother have applied a visa for the first time so of course it would be no but if in case if someone have a refusal on their previous visa then they have to mention the application number you have to mention the date of the application and you have to mention what the reason was of the refusal so you have to mention that here but in my case it was no you will just select save and continue criminality and security have you ever committed any crime no have you ever been arrested for any criminal offense no have you ever been charged for any criminal offense no have you ever been convicted for any criminal offenses no for sure i'm pretty sure like it would be no for all of my viewers who were it would be but in case one pun one person chances if there is yes you can just mention yes and give the details save and continue so are you are you or have you ever been member of associate with a political party no have you ever witnessed or participated in ill treatment or prisoners or civilians no save and continue have you had a medical exam performed by ircc authorized panel physician within the last 12 months for visitor visa there is no requirement of a medical exam so no but if in case you have given then you can just do yes and you have to mention the umi number from here so you can just mention the U umi number from the document and you can just mention it here but in my case it was no save and continue in the last two years were you diagnosed with the tuberculosis no in the last five have you been a close contact with a person with the tuberculosis no save and continue are you currently receiving a dialysis treatment no have you had a drug or alcohol addiction causing no have you had a mental health condition no have you ever been a diagnosed with no no so all this is no in my case but if you feel there is something option just click yes and give the details what is your current marital status of course it is married date of marriage whatever the date of marriage is you can just select that this is just an example name of a spouse or a common law partner so now this would be your mother's name so just don't forget i i'm pretty sure like you will be uh, mentioning name as per the passport but make sure your mother's details just make sure your mother's details should be same as per the passport here but also make sure that in your father's passport on the last page of the spouse details your mother name also should be the same as per the mother's passport so just make sure that all the details are correct so i'll just mention as per the passport whatever it is example country of birth it is india present occupation for sure most probably it would be unemployed but if there is employed then you can just mention it is the address is the same as yours yes it is the same as my father's address will your spouse or common law partner accompany you to canada yes my mother will accompany my father when they both will come to canada so it will be yes save and continue 
do you have any biological adopted or step children yes so here it would be my name as well as my elder brother like if you have any siblings then you you will you will you need to uh, you need to also add that details as well so yes you have to add whatever the detail it is like for example if i would add my details which will my date of birth 1989 uh, june 30th relationship son country of birth india does this child have the same address as you no i'm not living with them so it would be no so it would be my address again here it would be canada just write like paulson mall vernon so i'll just select this and this address is if this child is not in canada will they accompany you to canada i am already in canada so i'll just select no no so if this child is in canada will they accompany you to canada i am already in canada so this will be answer no but the same if you are applying like if you have any siblings like mm, i have my elder brother so i will just write his name whatever it is uh, whatever the date of birth is relationship son country of birth india do you does this child have the same address yes my elder brother lives with them so it would be same if this child is not in canada will they accompany you to canada so i am not applying a visa for my brother right now i'm just applying for my parents so for sure my brother is not going to come with them to canada so them like they are not going to accompany together so it will be select no and save so this will be the details and you have to select save and continue if you were adopted provide the details about your legal parents no and save and continue what is your native language or mother tongue so it's gujarati so it's like gujarati can you communicate in english or french yes my father can communicate in english so i will select english what language do you want to use to contact you through english save and continue email address so your email should have this format so again I'm not creating any like for sure like my parents doesn't have any email address or something so I'll just mention my email address here so whatever if IRCC have to communicate they will communicate with me okay so personal id at gmail.com perfect save and continue telephone number so i will just give my telephone number 8111111 this is not again i'm this is not my number this is just a for example and save and continue so this is the summary for what whatever we have filled the details so i would suggest go one by one again and see all the details once you have done filling it just go through it click on edit you can just edit whatever it is just click on it edit it the details and you can save it and you can just come again on this page and once you think that all the details are correct just save and continue so now this will be the documentations which you would need to upload so now about this details as i have told i will explain you in the next step so hope this video have helped you to apply for your parents visitor visa and as i have told you there is an another video which i have already made and uploaded uh, uh related to a supporting documentations which you need to upload i have explained that so just kindly see that video about it and uh if you still have any doubt you can just comment in the comment section and also i have an instagram page where you can just follow me and you can dm me so that i would be happy to help you for any kind of questions related to a parents visitor visa so thank you so much for watching this video and 
if you are new to my channel then kindly support me uh, because your support will help me to make more videos and can i can help you more people so kindly subscribe to my channel and if you are and if you feel that this video was really helpful to you and you feel that your friends or your family member will also need some kind of and guidance or help then kindly share this video to them as well thank you for watching this video Thank you.